man-made horror scene beyond our comprehension. Me seeing a bunch of people talk about a movie that made my childhood and saying it's shut. The Chuck E. Cheese from my childhood would straight duck the new one up, duct tape him, and throw him in the trunk of an old Oldsmobile. Versus. When you're taught to use sir and ma'am your entire childhood, and then it becomes impolite to assume gender. Years of academy training wasted. This guy traumatized the hell out of several generations childhoods. Westerners. People from former USSR. This is a nor moment. Me looking at my old online conversations when I was a kid and realizing how annoying and cringe I was. The famous couches of our childhoods. Peter Pan was an angel that held kids hands when on their way to heaven. Neverland. That's why they never grew up. All those kids were dead. Boom. Childhood ruined. Counter assertion. Peter Pan was a magical creature who led children away from their families, but because he was an immortal, he never aged. When he saw the children start to grow up, he would kill them. The ones who escaped went on to be pirates. Captain Hook, for instance, escaped, losing a hand in the process. That's why he pursues him so fervently. Peter Pan took him away from a loving family, stole his childhood, and robbed him of his hand. Ruined a childhood show for no reason. Scooby Doo, HBO Max. Mind decaling as Velma, HBO Max. Thank you legends for making our, not you TikTok, childhood awesome. The Sunion won't make me cry. Your favorite childhood show was probably meant to advertise toys. Childhood, upgrade, teenage years, duck, go back. Adulthood. I said go back. Let's be honest here. You all played with this thinking it was a gun when you were kids. Childhood. Adulthood. Hood. Childhood memories. I can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Do men even have feelings? I miss you. Me when I remember a childhood memory, but I'm not sure if it's actually real or was it just a dream. Childhood is when you're a child. Adulthood is when you you're an adult. My father thinking I might be gifted while reviewing my classwork. There are moths in that lamp. Couches of my childhood. If you can't smell this, did you even have a childhood? Me trying to find my way back to my childhood. Actors and their childhood pictures. Rappers talking about their childhood and their songs be like. I never had much as a kid. Just loving parents, stability and a mansion and a thriving baked goods enterprise for me to inherit. Useless crap like that. My childhood was a lie. Me discovering that the Tasmanian devil is a real creature. Me learning that it doesn't actually spin around like a tornado. My mum constantly wonders why I'm so sarcastic. This was my childhood. Everybody I know needs what I'm selling. A swift kick in the bed. One dollar. When you download a childhood game, and it gives you the same amount of happiness it used to. Nice. When you try one of the delicacies of your childhood as an adult and it tastes nothing like how you remember it. If you remember him from your childhood, chances are you're now a parent. Banks start collapsing. 2008 kids. A shot. Here we go again. Cashier. Your child will be very happy. 22 year old me. If any of these logos were your childhood, we should grab a drink together sometime. Cartoon Network. Nickelodeon. Disney Channel. Adult Swim. The stereotype of guys wanting a goth girlfriend goes back to our childhoods. 
Sony exclusive games that made my childhood. Me knowing that they probably won't be getting another sequel. So long, partner. Biggest childhood fear. A common childhood fear. What happened to him? His mom counted to three. If you were born in the 90s, then that means your childhood is dead. Have fun paying bills and staying employed. Friendly reminder that these were animated by the same studio. Thomas and friends. Get your fill. Sausage party. When you find out your childhood favorite YouTuber's content has been reduced to cheap clickbaits. Look how they massacred my boy. Nintendo DS. GTA 4. Minecraft. Vine. Lego. Pokemon. Childhood relics. Me replaying a game from my childhood. Me when I still can't beat that one boss I've been stuck on for years. Uh, he's probably thinking about other women. Tim, what was the name of that one show that I used to always watch when I was little? What do you mean I'm the only OG anime left? What about Ash Ketchum from Pokemon? I heard he finally retired. Really? Yep. Then it's only me. POV. You are the one friend. That didn't manage to climb up the tree. Someone. I wanna get to know you. Me. Alright pick a category. Childhood trauma. Substance abuse. Poor life choices. Mental illness. Things I shouldn't say. Inappropriate humor. Nine year old me. After buying birthday gift for my mom with her own money. You're responsible for your own bad actions. People that blame their parents for everything. Also dog users, alcoholics, child abasers and criminals. Me mentally preparing myself to meet the guests downstairs. The 90s. The early 2000s. The perfect childhood for a generation. You had such a happy childhood. You used to put me in tires and roll me down the hill. Those were good years. The four horsemen of TV channels from your childhood. Cartoon Network. Nickelodeon. Disney Channel. PBS Kids. My childhood just got better. If plastic is made out of oil, and oil is made from dinosaurs fossil, then plastic dinosaurs are real dinosaurs. Me dreaming about saving the world from a treat only I can stop since childhood. When your raindrop doesn't win the race. Before men's, we used to just yell out Chappelle show quotes at each other. Nothing says Halloween like setting up a store in the corpse of our childhood. Spirit Halloween. Entrance. Do you ever listen to a song from your childhood and it unlocks so many memories and you break down crying and realize you can't get back those good times when you didn't have to worry about anything? Yeah I'm having that ducking moment right now. Today's generation having basically no childhood. GTA 6. That moment when you're growing up and realize your exceedingly traumatic childhood was not at all normal. Concern. Having the type of childhood that means you fear certain inanimate objects. Me. That one YouTube video I watched as a kid. I finally found it. The voice to your entire childhood starter pack. Who's winning in battle? GTA is a adult's game. But everybody's childhood memory too. When you rewatch your favorite childhood sitcom and suddenly notice all the sexual innuendo. Seeing a childhood friend in public. They forget who you are. When you revisit a show from your childhood and start noticing all its flaws. When you realize the GameCube and PS2 are considered retro consoles and the Wii I. DS and Xbox 360 are soon to follow. 
that feeling when you watch your favorite childhood cartoons as an adult and understand all the dirty jokes. My god, I get it. Childhood trauma in 4 pictures. 90s, don't sit too close to the TV. 2021. Years of childhood trauma treatable through therapy. My bro case looking at memes. How it feels to revisit your old childhood home after 8 years. Eisenberg. The 80 year old lady suddenly deciding she is a park ranger. Me casually feeding the ducks. YouTube videos that made my whole childhood. Wait, it's all cringe. Always has been. 7 year old me, when mom buys the pun parody instead of the actual film. When your childhood dream becomes reality. The four horsemen of childhood nightmares. Messed up stuff on the internet. Childhood innocence. When you rewatch a childhood movie as an adult and actually understand it. My god, I get it. At some point in your childhood, you and your friends went outside to play together for the last time and nobody knew it. Cartoons are meant for kids, yeah silly. They can't scar you. The cartoons. Feel old yet? Remember her? This is her now. Someone asks me about my childhood. Me, thinking back. Random internet tit pick. My childhood. The following movie is rated R. 10 year old me. My parents. Childhood glory days. What if I told you the whole time that magic stone under the bed was actually crack? When your mom gets misty eyed after a few drinks and starts talking about her childhood. This little story is going to cost us 51 years. Duck Zodiac Signs. Where was your favorite hiding spot? I can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Do men even have feelings? I'm not gonna ask again. Got any grapes? 10,000 IQ downloading classic Game Boy games to relive my childhood. Immediately remembering how terrifying my childhood was. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself. My day be. So fine. Then boom. Cringy childhood memory. Nobody. My mind at 3am. Because of that one TV show from our childhood. The Heat Wheels NFT Garage Series 3 opens on July 7th. Buy or trade digital collectibles available on the Wax Bulk Chain. Heat Wheels NFT Garage. No oh 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 oh. Just be yourself. Me not having my personality since early childhood. Where 90s and early 2000s kids grew up. Healthy childhood. Chuckles. I'm in danger. Having a good time. Sudden sad memory from childhood. Me listening to music from my childhood. Artists now coming out at terrible individuals. Me suddenly remembering that one video that entertained me in my childhood. I have a suspicion Disney changed one of my favorite childhood movies just to appeal to a wider audience. And this offends you because it deviates from a movie you loved as a child? No, it offends me as a recess adult. When you randomly remember that one thing from your childhood. Dumb ways to die. Funny how this all started because they wanted people to be safe around trains. Me and the boys getting back together and blasting. Captain Sparkler's Minecraft parodies. Dom. Family. Also Dom. Never trust his childhood friend. 
even after he took them in in Rio, but still threw him out cause he messed up the job. Didn't give his own brother a chance to explain himself, turn him into a merc who helps a maniac to destroy the world. Dom is not a family guy. Mere old Gen Z seeing young Gen Z listen to my childhood jams as old music. Everything hurts and I'm dying. Dad, I had a happy childhood. My dad used to put me in tires and roll me down hills. Family, oh that's so sweet. Dad, indeed, those were good years. Me sharing a funny story about my childhood. Everyone else, wondering why I think being pushed by my friends down a flight of stairs is funny. Me, plays old game from my childhood. The level I forgot about that caused me to stop playing. It's a me. Nickelodeon finding the best way to systematically destroy every good franchise we loved in the 90s and 2000s by making shutty spin-offs. Sleep hits different in childhood bedsheets. Me. Oh 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 mommy, can I have some McDonald's? Mom. You got McDonald's money. Me the rest of the ride home. Mom, I want Winnie the Pooh. We have Winnie the Pooh at home. Winnie the Pooh at home. This ain't no bedtime story. Winnie the Pooh. Blood and honey. Did the cartoon shows from our childhood have adult jokes for our parents? Or for us? When we look back at life. I don't need sleep. I need answers. McDonald's didn't get worse, you just grew out of it. When lockdown was your childhood. Asian. The white friends hanging out after school. Four year old me, when I find a stick on the ground. I see no god up here, and start using it as a gun or magic staff, other than me. The scariest things on earth. The dark. Clown. Sharks. Serial killers. Doubt. Frank from Cars. When you're turning 18 tomorrow. Dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain. You'll be Miss Choco Taco. You and WWF ice cream bars are why I ran after ice cream trucks in my childhood. My childhood trauma. Brain damage causing me to forget my childhood. I just found out that these two have the same voice actor and I will ever be the same. When you play your childhood games and it starts bringing back memories like. Where did you first see Pan? Me. At the store. Mom. Wait here, I forgot something. Cashier, nearly finished shopping. Me, mother. Me when I see a bunch of people compliment and praise a movie that made my childhood. Watching mere deer documentaries and realizing if you get mere deered, there will be no photos to show of your life because you had a spotty early upbringing and never maintained any long term friendships so very few pictures exist of you outside of selfies on your phone. My brain choosing which flavor of anxiety we are going to experience today. Bottomless dread about nothing specific. Something seriously wrong with my body, I don't know what though. Why am I so anxious? Let's have a panic attack about it. Deep rooted anxiety from my childhood. Impending doom tm. Every day what remains of my childhood slowly ice. Paramount plus. Am I really going to defile this grade for money? Paramount plus. Of course I am. My whole childhood went seeing this guy getting beaten up by big muscular men. When the remaining of your favorite snack at home is given to the guests. POV. Your swimsuit is dripping wet, you're freezing cold, and you forgot which floor your room is on. You find one of your childhood YouTubers. 
he is having about 1k views per video, and is planning on ending his channel. Ash Ketchum leaving Pokemon is so sad, it feels like my childhood is dying. I understand, I haven't watched the anime in years, but it feel like saying goodbye to an old friend. I regret growing apart from. When you on commuting, overhear someone talking about a co-worker named after a Harry Potter character, and is reminded your childhood was 20 years ago. Childhood. Now. Me and my childhood years. Youtubers or influencers. Unfounded confidence. My mom's speed in the toy aisle. My mom's speed in the clothing aisle. Watching the live action Pinocchio trailer. Realizing they are going to recreate the donkey scene. How I assume you look now, based on your childhood building set. I can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Do men even have feelings? Let's create a TV channel called Cartoon Network. Let's serve the childhood of the 90s and 2000s kids. Then drop its quality, lose its fans, and ultimately remove it out of existence. Then drop its quality, lose its fans, and ultimately remove it out of existence. Me not trusting Putin in my childhood even though my parents support him. Me as an adult seeing Putin held accountable. A emotional scene of a character dying and saying his last words in a video game. The silent protagonist.